and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video. So today we are going to be doing some beginner friendly, simple and easy abstract summer nails. I just wanted to do something a little bit easier today, but also something a little bit colorful and summery. So here is the nail set that we are going to be recreating today. It's colorful and it has really cute abstract lines. So what we're going to need for this nail set are some gel polishes. I have a bunch of colors here. We have a green, blue, orange, yellow, pink, and purple, and a different shade of blue. And then for the poly gel, I'm going to be using this nude poly gel from McCart. So this is pretty much all we're going to need. So let's just get right into this nail set. Okay, so here are my natural nails. They just need like a little bit of nail prep and also they need to be cleaned around the cuticle areas because I have some excess poly gel around the cuticles from my last nail set. So I'm just gonna start off by pushing back the cuticles. Now I'm going to take this circular cuticle drill bit and I'm just going to work this around the cuticle areas. Now I'm just going to trim off all the excess dead skin using some cuticle scissors. Next, I'm going to take my fine grit sanding band and I'm just going to file over the surface of the nails just to like scratch them up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to put on a peel off base coat. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the nail tips here. I'm going to size them out. Okay, so I'm gonna glue on the nail tips with some base coat because this peel off base coat, regular nail glue doesn't wanna stick to it. So I just cure on the nail tips. It's just easier. But if you want your nails to last, just use a regular nail glue because it's much stronger. Okay, so the nail tips are all on. Now we are going to trim these down. So because these are beginner friendly, we're gonna do them short. I don't really know how short I want these. Okay, I think that's good. I totally forgot to tell you guys when I started this nail set. I don't even know when I started. It's 12.30 right now, and I'm gonna guess I started... Wait, let me look back on my recordings. Okay, no, I started at 12, <laughs> and let's see what time we finished these nails. So now I'm just going to take a hand file, and I'm going to shape the nail tips. I just want to file in these corners and also make sure that the tip of the nail is nice and straight as well. Can we see the difference? It's just like much more clean. And now we just have a really nice base to put the poly gel on because I feel like if you have a good base, like a good foundation, then the poly gel will look better when you apply it. And that's why using some nice nail tips is very important as well because sometimes some nail tips just like aren't really shaped nicely. It just makes the poly gel just not look as good on the nails. So yeah, I just recommend getting some nice nail tips that are already nicely shaped. Okay, so the tips are shaped and now I'm just going to remove the shine from the nail tips and I'm just gonna use my hand file to do this because it's just a little bit quicker and I don't really feel like pulling out my drill right now. Okay, so now we're just going to add on a layer of base coat to all the nails.
so for my slip solution i'm using this 91 percent isopropyl alcohol and we're just gonna get right into this poly gel application so i'm gonna take this nude poly gel from mccart and we're basically just gonna do all the nails in this color so because these nails are short i'm just gonna do them in one bead so i'm gonna start at the cuticle area and just drag this bead down and this probably was a little bit too much but it's okay so i'm just gonna start at the cuticle area and i'm gonna push this poly gel towards the skin i'm just gonna thin it out because we don't want really thick poly gel right next to the cuticles i'm just gonna thin it out and i'm gonna bring it down to the sides as well so we have the cuticle area situated and now i'm gonna take some of this thickness and i want to push it backwards because i want a little bit more thickness right here so i'm just gonna take my brush and tap the poly gel back towards the cuticle <laughs> And I'm just tapping it that way it blends nicely and I'm just gonna clean up the cuticle area whenever I see that it might get a little bit too close to the skin that's a much better thickness that I want so now I'm just gonna drag the poly gel down the sides a little and then this rest of the poly gel here I'm just gonna drag it to the sides and cover the whole nail okay so once the tip is covered I'm gonna start at the sides of the nail and I'm just gonna drag this poly gel up towards the tip and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side Okay, so the sides are smoothed out now. So now we're just gonna smooth out the top of the nail. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm trying not to touch this area where the apex is. I just wanna leave that alone. So I'm only smoothing out the poly gel that's at the tip. I'm just gonna drag that towards the free edge. So this nail is a little bit thicker than I want it. So I'm just gonna go over the entire nail and drag off that extra poly gel I don't want. So I'm just adding a little bit more pressure to get that poly gel off the nail. Okay, so all the excess is just Sitting at the tip there and I'm gonna take a spatula and I'm just gonna slice off that excess and I'm gonna put the poly gel back in the tube just like that and um, I just like suction it back in <laughs> okay so we're gonna fix this nail up a little bit so anywhere that doesn't look like perfectly smoothed out or like it needs a little bit more thickness then I'm just gonna like tap the poly gel gently in that direction and here's how the side of the nail is looking I think it's looking pretty good possibly the tip might still be a little bit thicker than I want it to be. So I'm gonna drag a little bit more of that excess poly gel that I don't want. I'm gonna drag it off the nail. And I'm just doing this with really light pressure. I don't really wanna disturb the apex part of the nail. And once again, I'm just gonna take off that excess using the spatula. And that's my favorite part because it's so satisfying and just makes the nail look so nice and crisp. Okay, so I feel like this looks good. And you just wanna make sure that you check around the cuticle area right before you cure that way. If there's any flooding, you can clean that up now. Cleaning it up now is much easier and it'll save you a lot more time. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Okay, and here is the finished nail. So I'm gonna move on to the next nail and I'm just gonna do that same thing. I'm just doing a big bead of poly gel down the entire nail. And I'm gonna start by focusing at the cuticle area. There's a huge bubble in the nail. I hate that. It's very unsatisfying. Situate the cuticle area. And then I'm just gonna drag the rest of this poly gel and cover the tip of the nail. And then we're just gonna get smoothing this out. So I want a little more thickness right here on the nail. So I'm just gonna drag the poly gel backwards and then like tap it in to blend it. So that's much better. Now I'm just going to smooth out the sides of the nails and then I'm gonna smooth out the top of the nail. Just drag off that excess poly gel. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take off all that excess. And now we're just going to do the rest of the nails.
Okay, so all the poly gels on now. So I just have my McCart dust collector and a hand file and we're gonna get reshaping these nails. I saw a comment that said that they wanted an ASMR part for the shaping. Usually I have this dust collector on and it's kind of loud, but I guess just for you, I will not turn on the dust collector and we'll just shape the nails ASMR. Let me do a little explaining, I guess. I don't think I've ever explained like the shaping part of a video. I usually just speed that up, but I guess today I'll explain. Starting off, I usually just hold the nail with my thumb and then I shape the side and I kind of like round the file over the top of the nail as well. So I'll like start on the side and I'll round it and go on top of the nail. And then on the other side, I'll just file that. Then I will hold the nail with my thumbnail and then I'll just file over the entire nail. And then I go around the cuticle area and I just file that a little bit. So you just wanna make sure that you're checking the nail from all angles to see like where it needs shaping. And I feel like the tip of the nail needs some more shaping. So I'm just gonna file the tip of the nail. Okay, so I feel like the nail looks pretty good now and that's pretty much what I do. I hope I explained that okay. But yeah, I'm just gonna shape the rest of the nails now. Okay, so I'm done with the shaping and now I'm just gonna take the fine grit sanding band and I'm just gonna go under the nails and kind of just clean up any of the like filings under there. Okay, and now I'm gonna take a buffer and I'm just going to buff the nails and this is gonna get rid of all those scratches and make the nails a little bit more smooth. Okay, so we're all done with the filing and I'm just gonna wipe off all the dust from the nails. Okay, so now we can get into this nail art. So this is just some like simple wavy line abstract type of nail art. And we're just gonna start on the pointer finger. So the colors on the pointer finger are orange and yellow. So I'm just gonna put those colors on my mixing plate. I feel like this yellow isn't yellow enough. Let me look for a different one. Okay, I feel like this is a bit more type of yellow we're looking for. I'm gonna start with the yellow and just make a wavy line down the nail. No, I feel like this yellow doesn't stand out enough. I have this neon yellow. What if we do, okay, this is like highlighter. What if we mix it? Uh, is that good? I don't know. Okay, actually, I feel like that's good. I want it to be brighter and I feel like 
this is much better, this color. Okay, I feel like that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Okay, now I'm gonna take the orange and I'm just gonna follow this same outline. I feel like that's not orangey enough. Let's retry that. I have this very bright orange color. Okay, so that's the first nail done. So the next nail is gonna be the pink one. I mean, this is kind of like a purple-ish pink, but I mean, it looks very similar to the picture, so we're just gonna use it. I have to do some mixing, so I'm gonna mix this color with some white, and we're gonna make like a light pink color. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna make like a different variation of a wavy line, and I'm just gonna start with the dark pink. To the ring finger this one is gonna be the dark blue and the green and i think i'm gonna add like the tiniest bit of white to this blue just to make it like a little bit brighter Okay, and onto the pinky nail. This one is gonna be a purple and light blue. So this purple I have here is pretty dark, so I'm gonna mix it with some white, and then I'm gonna use this blue. Okay, and then for the thumbnail, I'm just gonna make this one pink and purple. Okay, so we're done with all the nail art. So I'm just gonna wipe off the gel polish cause it kinda has like a sticky layer on it. Okay, and now we're just going to finish off the nails with some top coat. Okay, so now I'm just going to add on some cuticle oil. And here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. Okay, so these are so cute. I love them. They're very simple, but so cute. I think they are great for summer because they're really colorful and they are very beginner friendly. Like the nails are basically just one color and then you go over with the wavy lines and it just turned out to be such a cute design. I like them because they're simple and I like that they're short too. Every time I do short nails, I'm just like, you know, I'm just a long nail type of person. But but then I do them and I'm like, wow, I enjoy short nails. Okay, so I finished the nails at 310. So these nails took me about three hours and 10 minutes, which I think is really good. Usually when I do these shorter nail sets and simpler designs, it usually takes me around three hours. Let me know which nail is your favorite, like the color combination. I really am liking the ring finger. I'm really liking the blue and green together. And here's the thumbnail. 
And also let me know if you would do any other different colors for this design. Also another thing, if you want it to be even easier, you could just do one line. Like you don't have to do the two lines and the two colors. You could just do one line and it'll still look really cute. That's what I was about to do, but then I saw the nail inspiration and I was like, I want to do two colors. <laughs> that is pretty much it for this video. I hope this nail set was beginner friendly enough and easy to follow. I definitely recommend this nail design. It's very cute and colorful for the summertime and they were really fun to do. So that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I will talk to you all next time. Bye!